are back in Big Lake again this weekend and we are getting ready to head out on our sleds to go see the finish to the Iron Dog Race. Let's go check it out. I'm Jameson. And I'm Ashley. We sold our house, left our lives in Southern California, and are headed north to Alaska, where we can be closer to my brothers, Adam and Justin. So this is Big Lake. There are kids over there racing, which is awesome. This right over here is the finish where the iron dogs come through. Um, do you want to go grab a corn dog? I've been We should probably go get some corn dogs. I know, Sandwiches. I want you want two corn dogs at once? <laughs> These were the biggest corn dogs any of us had ever seen. Some of us were particularly excited. I've been really trying, baby. Okay, inappropes. It wasn't even hers. She was just handing it to James. I've been really trying. Oh, come on! But hot. Have you ever seen so many snow machines in your life? <laughs> Not in one place at one time, no. There's gotta be like a thousand of them here. The Iron Dog is considered the world's longest, toughest snowmobile race. It covers more than 2,400 miles and goes deep into the Alaskan backcountry. We start to get cold after about a couple hours on a snow machine, so being at the finish of a race that has been going on for over 50 hours was really cool to see. Horse time, 52 hours, 49 minutes, 55 seconds, Mike Morgan, Chris Oak, Team 10, Iron Dog 2020. After the Iron Dog, we headed back to the cabin and finished off the day with some shenanigans. Eventually, things devolved into seeing how big of an explosion we could make. All right, do not try that at home. Highly irresponsible. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm freezing, I'm gonna go inside. See you guys later.